All right, here I am at this lady's house. Whoops. At this lady's house again. With a feisty brown tree. Oop. Sorry, it's knocked your sacred pillar over. I'm trying to prove a point here, but he's gone and pulled it out. Now, I've already put a thing up on Facebook with a brown tree from this lady's house before, but her husband had an eastern brown in the garage. I really found two brown trees in the roof. I came out the day after and caught a brown tree. I just came and did a roof inspection because she's hearing heaps of bullshit going on in her roof. And uh, the, in a very, very skinny spot was two brown trees. I managed to get one of them, but I have a feeling because where was it? It's in that, up in that eaves up there where it's really, really narrow. I think that that's where she, they're all laying. So probably nine o'clock at night would be a good time to get up in the roof and, and see how many snakes are up there because every six inches is a poo. Now I'm going to put this repeller back where it belongs but I'll grab my bag and I want to show you something she did have a repeller there but it seems to be gone there's another one there and this is now what I've seen three snakes on her property and there's been many more there's a repeller there so all around her property. Oh, I've got a fiberglass, so I'll be coughing and sniffling and snorting for a while. Repeller there. A repeller there. A repeller there. Look at me, I'm covered in fiberglass. That should be enough to repel the snakes, you'd think. But no. A repeller there. So she hasn't been shy with the repellers. Every corner of her house has one. And yet she's seen a handful of snakes, and I've, I've removed two, and her husband has seen them. And that little vibrator there, yeah, that's the noise that apparently frightens them. Oh, he's biting things now, so I'll put him away. Now, the theory is, snakes don't have ears, so they can't hear. But vibrations, they do sense the vibrations from big animals. For example, if they're out in the middle of nowhere in a paddock over there, and there's a cow or something walking along, and it uh, senses the vibration, the snake senses the vibration of that animal. See, they have a cochlea in their head, and the bottom jaws attach to that, and if their bottom jaws on the ground, they can feel the vibrations. Kind of like the same way we hear, but differently. Um, and that apparently is the theory. But that little vibration, can you hear a car in the distance? That's giving off vibration. The trees, branches blowing in the wind. You know, anything in life moving and existing gives off a certain amount of vibration. And the vibrations that those little things give off is nowhere near enough. So we'll put this cranky little tacker away. Come on, in you get. Don't bite the bag. Don't bite me more to the point. Oh, and another repeller there. So how many is that? That's about seven or eight repellers around her property and just as many snakes to go with it.